Hello everyone, it's Joanne again and I'm doing my second unboxing. Now I'm getting distracted because I can see myself and I don't like seeing myself so I'm just going to try and not look at myself in the mirror. Um, I've got quite an exciting box this week, I'm very looking forward to it, I've been very curious about this one so now that it's here I'm quite excited and it's quite big as well, well like a big one. So this is going to be... Oh I'll just try and lift it up. Here we have the feast box and I've got it upside down. So there we go, you can see the yeah, feast box, you can see it's quite massive. And um, I think that can maybe smell something coming out of it. So this is what I'm opening today. This is a brand new um instruction for book session. We've never collaborated with feast box before, so thank you very much to Giotti, I hope I've pronounced your name right, and the guys at Facebook for sending this to me to review. It's probably right up my street, so I'm very, very chuffed about it. Now, just a little bit of background. Um, the website is www.hellobell.feastbox.co.uk and it's actually run by a lady who set up a online UK supermarket um, for Asian foods called Red Rickshaw. I don't know if people might be aware of that. So basically Red Rickshaw is the UK's biggest online UK, UK's online, biggest online supermarket for Asian foods. And what happened then, Jyoti grew up in a, a big family and she was always in the kitchen with her grandmother, um, helping her grandmother cook, being a sous chef, being a chief taster. Um, sometimes a grand needs to cook for up to 15 people so you can imagine it must be quite quite a, a chore to do that so she's always been around food and it was when Jyoti went to university that her mother gave her her own spice kit and then she realized that she really liked using these foods but the spices and things like that but she was quite surprised at how many people you know, maybe more so especially Western people hadn't heard of some of the spices she was using, some of the things that she was doing, the ways that she was cooking. So she wanted to bring it to the masses and that's what she is doing with Feast Box because as it happens in life, everyone's life, something gets in the way. She became a mother and Red Rick Show had taken off so much so she felt that her actual home cooking for her family was going down her a little bit. So Feast Box was born. So now, I'll just go into it a little bit. You can get different plans. Um, it's not your bog standard subscription box, and I'll explain why in a little bit. So you can get two times two people, two meals for two people, or you can get one meal for four people. Now, the cost varies because basically it's not a fixed price. Whatever meal you choose has a exact price per head so it can vary your average price per head just from a, a quick kind of thumbnail look at it would be about six pounds so six pounds per head and see i ordered the two times two meals so i've got two meals and two portions of each meal in this box i think i should do um so as it's not cheap i won't be around the bush it's not particularly cheap but as i'm going to explain I think this is going to be really quite something and I'm very, very excited about opening this and I'm very excited to be cooking with it, which I'm not going to be doing live, don't worry, that's just way too much stress for me. Um, we do have a code and they've very kindly given us a code, Book Session 40, and we'll put that link in it, Book Session, capital letters, and that gives you 40% off your first order, so that's actually a brilliant saving, and I think if you're wanting to try this, I'd definitely recommend that. So, every week you choose from 12 recipes so they have a huge the, the, the variety of the recipes is unbelievable um, and I've written this all down because oh, there's no way I'm going to remember everything and something else as well it is very good for the vegans out there um, I'm not a vegan I'm a fully <laughs> bloody um, meat eater I said man eater there that's another story entirely um, so yeah for the vegans it's brilliant say at least four vegan recipes a week considering you've got 12 to choose from Four vegan recipes is brilliant, that's nearly enough half of the recipes. So this week I had a wee swatch at what the recipes were this week and your vegan options were your Middle East flatbreads, spicy cauliflower steak, stir fried okra, red Thai curry noodles, which was like tofu and things with it, and Gujarati roasted cauliflower. The other options that you could have with the meat and fish were a chicken tikka masala, which we all love, teriyaki lamb skewers, red Thai prawn curry, Kima Mutar flatbreads, which is basically like an Indian bolognese, which sounds really tasty. 
um, beef, I can't quite read my writing there, I think it's chappy kebabs, and that's from the Pashtun area. Beef mince pad crapow, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right again, um, which is basically a stir fry and baked Persian chicken breast, which sounds absolutely delicious. So that was this week. Now the meals I had to choose from, and I did have quite a, a struggle, I did ask Scott for his help because I thought he's having to um, eat half of it, so I need to get something that he like as well. Unfortunately, he doesn't like fish, so that meant fish was out. So I could have chosen from the vegan uh, options for last week where um, crispy jackfruit pancakes, which I've never tried jackfruit, and I was quite curious about that. That was when I thought, hmm, I'll maybe get that. There was also tofu tikka masala, there was a Persian aubergine, there was a red Thai vegetable curry, and there was a vegan masala dosas. Now your meat options, you had ginger chicken, Hariyali chicken kebabs, which is from North India, um, Durban mutton curry, which again I smothered over, and Vietnamese pork pancakes, and finally sweet and sour duck breasts. And if you're a pescatarian, the fish options do seem a little bit less, maybe only one or two. Um, and the, the selection that I was choosing from, I could have had the Malabari fish curry, which had coli in it, or chilli and garlic prawn tacos, which looked lovely, but I thought Scott wouldn't eat them, so mm, I sacrificed. So what I went for were the Vietnamese pork pancakes and the sweet and sour duck breast. I do like duck and I do like pork and I do like the you know, little pancakes that you'll get out the you know the takeaway and things like that, so I thought, good choice. And that's what's in here. So I'm going to rip it open. Now I love Asian food. I love cooking Asian food. I love eating Asian food. I've never been to Asia, but I, you know, I'd, I'd love to visit um, definitely sometime. So until then, I do try and do try and cook Asian food. And I did go through a phase once where I bought quite a lot of Asian ingredients, um, recipes, things like that from Amazon and I kept seeing the shrimp paste, roasted shrimp paste was coming up. So I thought I'll buy that, I'll try it. And as it said, yeah, it was, came in this little tub and it was right and was like, mm, not really sure what I bought here. Um, the recipe called for it to be roasted, so bunged it in the oven. <laughs> Ten minutes later my house was absolutely stinking, reeking. And I had the fear that it was like cat food or something that I bought. It wasn't for human consumption. So I went in the bin. But you know, I would love, I would love to try proper Asian ingredients. And this is what this box contains. All the recipes, which I think you can tell from what I read out, they are super authentic. Um, all the ingredients are authentic. All your herbs, spices, your mixes, they're all specially made. Everything is just exactly as as it should be if you were eating in posh restaurants or if you were lucky enough to be eating in Asia. So, oh, it's, it's a quick fill. I'm going to try and tip it up. Oh, I don't know if you can see that in there. So I'm just going to fill everything out. Oh, so we have the recipe cards. So this is very useful and these are nice paper as well. So I'm quite a messy cook. So hopefully <laughs> these won't get wrecked if I, you know, get a little bit out. Splashage, splash, splashage, splashage, sound like Sean Connery on them. So, yeah, just having a wee look here. It also tells you when you're buying, when you're selecting your recipe on the website, it tells you roughly how long it takes to cook. So, that's great. If you are really looking for just quick things, you can just go for like 30 minutes. Um, I think the longest one for me, yeah, was the pork pancakes, which take 55 minutes. So, I think that'll be a maybe an, uh, a weekend meal in the sweet and sour duck breast takes 30 minutes so that, that's a bit better for midweek and um, again it's entirely up to you you can really choose whatever you want so just having a real look um, I'll kind of this up to see if you can see how detailed the recipes are it's really well laid out um, really easy to follow and yeah, I don't think there'll be any problem with this. It's got all your ingredients at the top and then your method. And at the bottom it also says share your creation with us at Peacebox UK. So that's that's good. You can share it on social media and tag them. So yeah, it looks, it looks good. So, oh, right, okay. And it also said if you weren't in the delivery that the food was was okay and it was able to be, to be left if you weren't in and it would still be fresh. So, oh! This is the vegetables. So we have one cucumber. Oh, 
Oh, look at the size of these sprig onions. Oh, look at the size of them. They are gigantic. Scott is going to love these. These will be freaking out like spring onions and he'll just eat them. Um, we have coriander, which we always need for Asian cooking. Oh, the smell of the herbs. Oh, oh, that's mint. Oh, that smells absolutely divine. Oh, I wish you could, I wish you could smell this. That is lemongrass. I've got a big carrot. Big nose. That's some ginger. Oh, and we've got some more. Oh, 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 so much. oh that's, that's more mint, I think. And, oh, oh, I'm just throwing my chilli peppers about. Oh, excuse me. My chilli pepper and a clove of garlic. So, you get everything that you need. And that is, that's really quite something. I can't go for the size of those spread onions. They are absolutely mammoth. I mean, if you... I wish I had like normal ones that I could compare, but that's my finger and that's the spring onions. So you can see the size of them. And the mint is just, it just smells so fresh. So, I wonder what that's for then. It doesn't really tell you on the packaging what it's for. So this will be for the pork pancakes. I do believe. Them. Oh, found another little bit of paper here, which is, let's just see what this is. Yeah, but it just tells you all about all about these books and uh, their journey, the story behind them, things like that. So I'll have a little look at that later. We have your tin of coconut milk, which is always used in Asian cooking. So that's great. Oh, and this looks interesting. Okay, so it says, open this pouch. Your food has been chilling inside, dreaming of your fridge. How lovely is that? I'm just going to put this off my knee just now. Oh, I nearly dropped that. That's going to be good. So it says, once I'm unpacked, just rip off my plastic film and recycle it. Recycled. Great. My inner fabric is cotton industry offcuts that would have been wasted. Great. So please reuse me in your own creative way or bin me guilt-free. Fantastic. So how good is that? I mean, we're all trying to save the world. So that is just... Uh, I really like that, I really like that. I'm really getting excited about this box. So yeah, we've got um, ice packs. So that is what is keeping, I'm just going to chuck there. Um, keeping your food cold. That explains why if you're not in, you can leave it outside. So there we go. We have one duck booby. I've got two duck boobies. Not that's, not that's your two duck boobies. So get two duck boobs in there. And here is the minced pork for the pancakes. So that is brilliant. That's really, really good. Um, and I love, I love the, the eco-friendly aspect of it as well. So let's see what else. Ooh. Oh, this looks exciting. What's this? So another, again, paper bag. Super recyclable. Lovely little piece box sticker on it. And yep, this is all the goodies, I believe, for the duck breast. So yes, broccoli. Tender stem broccoli. Broccoli is always, is, you know, it's quite popular in Asian cooking as well. <laughs> We've got mushrooms. Scott is going to, he's, he doesn't like mushrooms. He doesn't eat mushrooms, but he's going to try and eat mushrooms. So this can be his first thing, but he's going to try mushrooms. So I think these are meant to be shit. Should take mushrooms? I really need to learn how to pronounce things before I come on into lives. So I've got one, okay, look at the size of them. They're gigantic. One, two, three, four, whoa, five, oh, six, seven big fat mushrooms. I've got cloves of cloves of garlic, cloves of garlic. I've got ginger. So that is all your bits and bobs for the duck breast. So as it's really well organised, you know, I've got the duck breast vegetables and herbs and things in there and then I've got the vegetables for the, the pork pancakes in the other little bag and the meat is together in that, that special chilled bag which I spoke about last thing how cute is this there's a little drawstring bag again piece box on it and in here we have all the things all the loveliness that you need for Asian cooking so you have a little soy sauce tub. So I'm assuming this is for this is for both the meals and it just pops it all into this bag so it just makes it separate it out. Look at that, you've got a little portion of jasmine rice. You have got tamarind chutney. Oh no, what's that for? 
Ooh, I think that's maybe. Oh, I'm not quite sure, but that's what actually I see tamarind paste on both recipes. I'm not trying to assume that maybe is what that is. Um, sesame oil, so it's brilliant. Look, little tubs of everything that you could possibly need in your recipe. Um, don't, don't know what that is. I think I'll need to go through and like match all of these up later, but I won't, I won't do that. Just like, oh, how cute is that? Look at that. Little cute little chilli flakes and little tops. How very cute. And I'm assuming these are all recyclable as well because they are all plastic. So I would like to think you can just chuck them in your recycling bin. And like a little palm sugar. A uh, Maggie chilli sauce. Whatever that is. Oh, a little tubby honey. Oh. Yeah, but this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Peanuts. My niece has got a peanut allergy, so I won't be making this if she's going to be around any time soon. Um, yeah, more tamarind chutney, so that must actually be the, the tamarind paste. Oh, and we've got plain flour, palm sugar. Yeah, I'm not going to go through it. There's quite a lot of duplicates in here. Um, yep. But yeah, absolutely brilliant. Everything that you need uh, is all measured out. Everything is coming exactly what you need for the recipes. So it's going to cut down on food waste and things like that as well. I mean, the only thing is, I think, you know, if you do like Asian cooking, you're generally going to have this stuff in your, your larder anyway. You know, you're going to have your sesame oil, your soy sauce and things like that. But, you know, these, these are still really, really cute. And I think this is brilliant for someone who's maybe wanting to get into trying Asian cooking and wanting to try and cook Asian foods. Because when you're just starting out, you don't really want to go and have to buy the whole shebang and buy every single thing that you need because God knows how much that's going to cost. So this is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm, I'm really, really pleased with this, you can probably tell. So there we go. I'll just put that away down there. And I will just do a little summing up. So I think... Thumbs up. I think, I, I did say it was a, a bit more expensive. I think it is, it is on the premium side of your, you know, your food subscription boxes. But I think when you look at the quality of the ingredients, when you look at the quality of the meals that you can choose, I mean, having to pick just two was a real struggle. I could have, I could have nearly eaten everything off that. And even the vegan things, I don't tend to eat things that don't have meat or don't have fish. But even some of them sounded, sounded delicious. And the cauliflower steak ones sounded absolutely immense. So, yeah, I mean, I, I would say I think this is worth the money. I think if you're, if you're one for eating out, say, if you like to go with your, you know, your partner or your, your friends, and you spend quite a lot of money eating out, this could be a really fun thing to do instead. Um, you could just, you know, invite your friend round to your house and do the cooking. Generation foods, it's not, I don't think it's too complicated um, cooking wise. And I think it'd be really fun, it'd be a really fun night in, in just doing that. And uh, again, as I said, if you're not au fait with Asian food, or you've not really cooked it, not really tried it, you don't know if you're going to like it, I think a box like this is brilliant. I mean, I can't rave enough about the fact that you get everything that you need in the little toy, little tubs, everything that you need just there. Um, that is, that's just fantastic. So... I think for me, um, I I definitely give this a thumbs up. I cannot wait to get stuck in. I think I'm gonna do the. Oh, I'm maybe gonna do the duck boobies tonight, but I don't know because I'll need to wait to squawk it, and then I need to wait to nine o'clock, and I'll be starving by then. So my review, written review, will come. I will be cooking these definitely over the weekend. Um, I'll write up a full review and we'll get it all posted on the website, on the, the blog, things like that. And again, the code box session 40. If you do want 40% off, I would recommend you snap that up. And yep, yeah, I'm very chuffed. As the website says, taste the world. And I think that's what I'm going to be doing this weekend, tasting the world. Thank you very much, Jyoti. I'm really, really chuffed at this. I can't wait to try it out. And everyone, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.